Hi YouTube, um, I just got my Dell XPS 15 today and I thought I would do a unboxing video of it to just make you guys aware of what you guys can expect if you order it. So let's get to it. Okay, so straight packaging. You guys gotta excuse me, I'm actually filming with one hand. So it's gonna be a little tough. Okay. Yep. Oops, that's clumsy. Oh well, that's why Karma call is there. Well, as you can see, everything is in black. I'm guessing this must be the battery and the power card. Oh, there's a power card. Hmm, that's slim. Feels like a brick. It's quite heavy. This is a power extension. I think this must be Yeah, I'm guessing this is CDs. I'll open this later. Let me just check if there's anything I missed in the box. See, it's in a nice bag. Sorry about the shaking, guys. It's just an iPhone that I have, and it's pretty difficult. Oh, well actually there was a storm here today and I don't know if you guys can see it but yeah that's actually water huh well this video would be useful if I can send it back to Dell for water damage I think the delivery guys would be more careful well it's pretty heavy I can tell you that okay let me just get something to wipe this moisture off <sighs> it's pretty sick I think you pay like thousand three hundred dollars take more care of your stuff Yeah, that's funny. That sticker is actually supposed to be on top of the Dell logo. But, obviously, due to FedEx, this incredible delivery service, which took me a whole day, the whole thing is like, just bathed in water. Okay, let me just get rid of the sticker. up to. Luckily this whole thing is metal so I don't need to really worry too much. I just put some alcohol in like that. Yeah that's pretty stupid. I think they take more care. So be aware guys I just opened it in front of you. Okay so I just opened it up. You probably see my reflection on the glossy screen over there. Uh, the standard protecting linen cloth. Just throw it aside. And it's pretty heavy. It's, it's really heavy. 
just flip it over and see if it has the battery already. Yep, it does. You know, guys, even the battery is wet. It really pisses me off. There's also a sticker on the subwoofer. Probably want to take that off. And on the battery logo. So that says that there's like four lights out of five on the battery. But since this is wet, guys, I don't think it's a good idea to put it on immediately. Let me just take the battery out and make sure it's not wet on the insides. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> You'd think FedEx would take care of such things. I don't want to swear on camera. You know, I think I'll just run this on battery. Because I don't want to risk connecting it to an electrical connection. It didn't work now. Okay, I think it goes in this way it just snaps yeah and this thing even though it's matte you can probably see it picks up some oil or fingerprints okay so this whole area is metal just uh, three screws right here you can see that I don't know if you could guys can yeah that's three screws you can just update your RAM or whatever I heard the hard disk has to be like the whole thing has to be open for the hard disk though. Well, that's the laptop. Let's see what else is in the box. I have the power card like I showed before. And a lot of... Where did I put that? Oh yeah, there it is. So I'm guessing this probably is some manual or CDs. Just want to show you guys what it is. <laughs> Would you believe it, guys? Even this is wet. I don't know if you can probably see it, but yeah, it's actually moist and folded. It's pretty shitty. I think you pay like thousand three hundred bucks. Get proper service. Oh well, it's just some shitty manuals I don't need anyway. Setup guide. I don't really know who needs a setup guide for a laptop, but you know, for those of you who are interested, there's the warranty, there's the environmental stuff, and there's no CDs. I think this is the tech support. This information. This is the drivers and utilities, which you could probably get off their website anyway. So, well, that's it. Okay, let's turn this baby on and see what it's got. Here goes. Hallelujah. It's booting up. So, I actually bought this laptop with Core i5 processor, guys. Um, I heard I'm not really going to use the i7 processor, though you can get it if you want to. Uh, I don't really see the need for a quad core processor for the things I do. I mean, I'm just a media junkie. So, um, this, this would do just fine. So, you can probably see the touchpad is pretty big, which is nice, actually. And it's like, it's actually like aluminum. This whole thing feels really nice. I mean, I looked at the pictures online and I actually thought that um, it was pretty, you know, bad looking. But it's actually nicely constructed. And this is a 1080p screen. You probably know the JBL speakers comes built in, so. And the keyboard has a metal finish to it. It's very nice, very solid. And uh, yeah, you guys must be knowing the ports. 
the USB 3 there. Some Blu ray. And the other ports. I'm sorry, guys. It's really hard to do this with one hand. I wish I had a better camera. So you can probably see the HDMI, the Ethernet, and this, yeah, power slot, whatever. It's pretty nice, actually. I, I thought it couldn't go back, but it actually can sling as far back as you can. You'd think that after seeing that hinge at the back, you know, this hinge, You'd probably think that this hinge would obstruct the screen from moving back as far as possible, but it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's reasonable. And for those of you who are worried that this plastic is actually glossy, no, it's actually matte. So you don't need to worry about picking fingerprints. It's actually really well constructed. Pictures don't do justice, guys. You gotta have, you guys have to feel this before you can see how good it is. So. As you can see, I configured it with the core i5 processor, and um, this um, comes with Windows 7, Home Premium or more if you're interested. Um, it comes with 500 GB hard drive. Uh, I configured it with 4 GB of RAM because realistically, I'm not going to use more than 4 GB of RAM. Um, what else? Well, yeah, that's it. Um, I'd be posting a review soon, and next time, I promise I'll use a better camera or a tripod to get this review. But at this point, the unboxing is pretty much complete. And, uh, yeah, feel free to ask any questions, guys. Um, okay. Uh, one tip I have for you guys is when you buy laptops, um, just, you know, just tone down on the hard disk and the... Uh, RAM because you can always upgrade these things later. You know, it's pretty easy. They have a port at the back You know, it's pretty easy to upgrade and the price of memory hard disk or RAM always keeps falling and it's easier to upgrade them in the future. So um, If you, if I were you if I were you and I'm gonna buy this laptop, I would do what I just did. I mean don't Don't spend too much on the hard drive and the RAM. You can always upgrade that later spend a little more money on the screen because the screen is just absolutely gorgeous I don't know how words can express this and this camera doesn't do justice to the screen but the screen is just beautiful I mean there's no words to express how the 1080p screen is you know if I were you spend the money on the 1080p screen it's really that good um, yeah that's it uh, I'll be posting this on YouTube and I'm once again I apologize for the video quality I know it's pretty bad and pretty shitty but uh, I'm trying my best here so if you guys have any questions feel free to just uh, ask me in the comments below okay bye